David Ridley. Uh, my name is Dave Ridley. I'm with uh, RidleyReport.com. It's sort of a poor man's TV station broadcasting out of Manchester. I run into police maybe once a month in a context that I want to videotape them for some reason or another. And I would say that uh, in the year and a half I've been doing this, I've had four occasions now where police have ordered me or tried to intimidate me into turning off the camera. Um, I appreciate most of the police officers because most of the ones I run into, probably 75 to 80 percent, are pretty cool with being videotaped. And I appreciate that. And I think it's better in New Hampshire than many other places. But we still have some instances where there's a chilling effect going on. Uh, you uh, heard about Cooper Travis's arrest. I have video of that. Um, and I can make that available to you now. Or I can email it to you if you wish me to. Um, the, way things, the way things are right now, people are at risk of going into cages simply for videotaping the police. It shouldn't be that way. Of course, I think there's an audio issue too. They have the audio recording. Um, but um, I, I think um, I think this gentleman back here had it right. On the job means on the record, and I urge you to pass uh, this bill. Any questions, Representative Robertson? Thank you, Madam Chair. Did they give you any reason why they didn't want you recording? In all four cases with me, it was more of a request than an order. Of course, many civilians don't understand the difference, but they would often say, you can turn that off now, or would you mind turning that off, please, sir? You know, something like that. That's always been my case. They never tried, in my case, to bring up the wiretapping law. In Cooper Travis's case, the young man behind me who testified before, they did threaten him with the wiretapping law. And again, we have video of that because he shot video of that. Thank you. As the law is written now, by them asking you to cease recording, wasn't that denying their consent? Therefore, you were put on notice. It could be considered that. It could. I was taking a risk if I was going to continue recording. Well, it wouldn't wouldn't be your risk to you? Yeah, but that would have been a violation of current law as written. Could be considered one. Yes. <laughs> That's really where you want to turn it. Yeah. Well, see, I, I don't claim to fully understand the law. Very many laws are difficult to understand, just like Anne Rice was saying. So, what is one more thought? Uh, what is it you do that you said you find yourself videotaping these at least once or twice a month? It's a video blog. It's like a poor man's newsroom. I shoot about two stories a day about New Hampshire news, and uh, usually when I um, I'm like in a protest or something like that, covering a protest, sometimes police will walk up to the protest to question the protesters, and I might want to get video. <coughs> in most cases, police handle that pretty well. They're okay with being videotaped. But I have had a couple cases, like I said, four cases total, where police have tried to stop me from videotaping. And the wiretapping law is hanging over my head when they do that. It's a chilling effect. Thank you. Any other questions? No, thank you very much. All right, thank you. Thanks for your patience.